Hey YouTube, what's up? You're watching Concealed Steel. Today we're going to review the Palmetto State Armory 12 inch 6.5 Grendel Upper. We're going to talk about reliability, accuracy, build quality, and practicality. So if you're new to the channel, please do me a favor and comment, subscribe, thumbs up. And if you subscribe, click the little bell icon because it really helps the channel out. Thanks. As always, today we're going to start with reliability. Reliability of this gun has been 100% for me. Now, reliability is going to be heavily based on these guys right here. you got to have the right magazines for 6.5 Grendel. I, I run these Elander, these Elander mags that I get from Alexander Arms. I've got a few from Brownells, but these have been 100% reliable in this gun, so no issues to report. Next, accuracy. Accuracy for this has been pretty decent for a 12-inch barrel. And the three rounds I primarily shoot are Hornaday's ELD Match, Hornaday SST, and Wolf Steel 100 grain. And what you're looking at here is Hornaday ELD Match at 100 yards. That's four shots. So disclaimer, that's not. It doesn't always do that. There's three rounds touching there, which you can see. This is usually just over an inch, inch and a half in my experience with the ELD match out of this gun, so take that for what it's worth, but I wanted to put that group up there because it's pretty amazing. Next, that's the Hornady SST round at 100 yards. Also, I should have noted on the last one that these are one inch squares you're looking at on that paper target. That's 16 rounds of wolf at 25 yards. There's 18 rounds of wolf at 50 yards. And there's a whole bunch of wolf at 100 yards. And just in case you haven't noticed, I'm no professional long range shooter, and my long range shooting setup is not a professional long range shooting setup. So take these groups for what they're worth. Build quality. Build quality on this gun is outstanding. Everything's everything's really tight. The rails line up perfectly on top. The everything just fits together really well. The handguard's really rigid. I like the mounting interface. It seems solid. The barrel nut's solid. It's got an adjustable gas block, which is awesome. I haven't had to mess with yet because it's been reliable. It's been fine. Uh, everything, everything's put together really well. I'm a fan of the hand guard. I put these little rail covers over the over the M lock slots, but I'm a fan of this hand guard. It feels good. It's a good, it's a good thickness. The the materials, the the finish on the hand guard and the upper receiver don't quite match perfectly but I don't really care about that. Some people might get OCD about the finish on their upper receiver and their handguard being the exact same thing. I don't, I really don't care. I really like that there's a QD slot on this handguard right here. It's pretty awesome. It's a perfect spot where I like to run my QD sling. I like to put it, I really like to put it right here. So I got myself a QD end plate. I like to run my sling right here and right here. And then it's easy, it's easy for me to still shoulder it while I have the sling attached to both points. So win. I really I really dig that on the handguard. There's really nothing to report as far as build quality goes. Next let's talk about practicality. What are we going to use this gun for? What am I confident in it doing? This could be this could be for use for hunting, for defense, for just plinking because of the price of wolf ammo. I'm a I'm a big fan of this caliber. I'm a big fan of this size firearm because as some some of the tests from Azure Red AR15.com with 6.5 Grendel rounds and, and ballistic gel out of 12-inch barrels. I'm completely confident in this round coming out of a barrel this length. Based on ballistic calculators and the velocity these rounds should still be traveling at, I'd be confident with taking deer sized game at, at 200 yards with this 12-inch barrel out of a 6.5 Grendel with the right rounds. But if you watch the Wolf ballistic gel testing out of a 6.5 6 inch Grendel, that's a pretty devastating round too. So. I wouldn't hunt with it, but I wouldn't be afraid to hunt with it. I would just, I just pick the SSD because that's just a, it's a round that's made for that type of scenario. I, I mean, that kind of wraps it up. There's nothing, nothing to really report. There's a fantastic, fantastic upper. I love it in this size. This package is really, really handy. Um, 
the weight it's it's really light i don't i don't i didn't put it on my scale but this is a really light one of my lighter lighter guns and i'm just i'm just a, a huge fan of this package i love the round i love 6.5 grendel and again in this size of a gun it's it's just i'm a big fan of it really like it don't hesitate <clears throat> you won't you won't be let down by palmetto state armory even if something does go wrong they will take fantastic care of you they're a, they're a killer company so Thanks for checking out my video. Thanks for coming by my channel. Please don't forget to subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get notifications. Click thumbs up. Thanks. Have a nice day.